Hey, 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 today is day 30 of my challenge. I started a few weeks ago. So to make you a quick recap, I did a challenge with the goal of actually making 2K a month. I invested my last money and I needed to be able to manage to get some. If not, I was going to be broke as fuck and I didn't want to have any money. So let me do a little recap of what happened and what didn't happen. So first, I'm going to give you three lessons, three things I needed to learn. At least I realized I needed after those 30 days. So the first thing is consistency. As I watched back the 30 days, I saw that I had a huge lack in consistency. I did workouts in the beginning, like in the week two and three, I started to like not working out because I didn't find the time. Then I started to do cold calling, but I evolved a lot. So it's really hard to put consistency in it. But I had, I had to stay consistent with those thing, those things I needed to still doing. Right now, for example, uh, it's been two days or three days I didn't role play, you know, and there are other things I didn't do. For example, two last, like, I worked out this morning. It's the first time I worked out in the morning, like, when I wake up, was a huge, huge thing. I didn't realize how, how much it was good. Right now I do. But, yeah, like, um, when was it? Like, Sunday and Saturday, I believe, I wasn't working out. I didn't work out. So, I need to add consistency. Like, this is what you do. This is what you have to do. And still today, today I wasn't able to perform as well. I wasn't able to do my follow-up, wasn't able to do my call calls, and wasn't able to do the numbers of looms I needed to send. Yeah, I was lazy today. Today was a bad day for me. I didn't reach my goals and my targets. Some of it pissed off that I'm going to do at least the job I got to do on social media. So right now for one hour, it's got post as fuck. <laughs> so second, so excuse me, lesson number one, consistency. Really need some. Lesson number two, taking massive action. Yeah, I'm going to keep this just like that. Taking massive action. I mean, when you start to like being like, okay, I got to do massive things, do things that other people are not ready to do. You're like, okay, I did, I, I do enough. Like I do a big thing, then you start to adapt and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing the boundaries enough. No. There are no fucking boundaries. The only boundaries that you put are in your head, okay? So, you will need to push those boundaries away. And maybe to push them, you don't. You have to change the way you are doing the thing. For example, before I thought it was like impossible to post more than like 30 pieces, 50 pieces of content a day. So, I was like, okay, I cannot do more if I, or at least I need to add time, but I don't want to have to add the time to that. I've got other things to do. Yet, when I saw the way I was posting content in a different way, I was able to be posting more and I was able to like, yeah, reach my targets easily, actually. Much, much, much easier than before, actually. Because I opened my mind to other possibilities that helped me out in order to get the goals I want. So you got to still be open to new opportunities so you can get to reach the targets you want. Then, what's up or no? Then, like the third biggest lesson I've learned, and actually I realized it today, and it's still fucking up in my mind. It's the fact that I didn't reach my target. I wasn't able to reach a target I wanted in those 30 days. And there is a big reason for that, I believe. At least two reasons. I'm going to share the third tip. And then the reason why. I think the third tip I learned is to basically apply like quickly, like as quick as you fucking can. And maybe even quicker than that, because if only I've got all the knowledge I need in order to make millions of dollars. I've got all the resources available. I've got all the knowledge I need. The only thing I lack, only thing is a correct, the correct amount of action and applying directly the things I need to apply in order to get to those results, reach those targets, reach those goals. The speed at which you apply things is crucial to reach your targets. Crucial. And I didn't realize it like until like today. I was like, why are you going so slow? I was like, yeah, 
you got all those things you can go so 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 fast so much so faster man but wasn't the case i was like why you are not playing things quick enough you need to be like learn this do this learn that do that if you can do that thing okay do that thing and not being like yeah noted a few things today was good and i'm gonna apply them some time in some time in some other universe or yeah never actually so you really have to fucking apply the things when you learn them because learning and that's something i i started to reduce i started to reduce that but i still think i'm doing it like trying to be like hey i'm gonna learn for one or two three four hours a, a straight ahead and i'm gonna be like okay i've got a lot of ton information i can use it and be like okay i'm gonna get on top of the on top of the game but if you only apply like this much of what you learn you won't get anything you will, you will be a smart smart zero <laughs> that's it so you got to apply what you learn quickly as quick as you can damn the thing i deeply realized today that's not a tip but that's more of a one of the reason if i've got to find a reason why not blaming something but finding why i wasn't able to reach those goals i think the most important thing and i'm still coming back to that so i, I think i've got a huge work to do on this huge because that's the foundation the foundation is really important try to build a home without a good foundation you will fuck it up i'm telling you so the biggest thing i've got the biggest problem i've got is that i'm not sold enough what does that mean sold on what sold on myself sold on my capability on my skills on my work on my capability to give results one of the biggest fig fear i've got and it's it's almost inconscient like i don't even realize it but being like hey do you think you can like give those people results you've never done that because i'm really hurt in the process like i do services i've got a lot of knowledge about how the things but oftentimes in some parts of what i do i still have a lack of experience and lack of like okay what can you deliver actually what is the kind of results you can deliver to them? What if you're like, okay, you do everything that's correct, but you fail. And, and you're like, oh, I promised something that I wasn't be able to achieve. And what I learned was a lie. You know, that's, I think, one of my biggest, biggest fear. Because... I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not a criminal. I want to give some great results. I want to help people out. Yet, I won't say it's paralyzing me. It's paralyzing me. The thing is that I didn't went back enough on the fundamentals. Get fucking sold on what you do. Always be like, yeah, I'm the best. Yeah, I do the best thing ever. Yeah, I know I have not ex as much experience as others. But others don't do this, this and that. They didn't learn from this person. They didn't put in the work as much as I did. And that's how I think I couldn't bring confidence. Because right now I'm talking to you guys. It's actually something that's really helped me out to realize what's the thing I can do. Because oftentimes I'm like here thinking about the solution. But I, I can't come with any true plan on how I can resolve that problem. I can do that while with talking, so that's why I love to do some videos because I can talk, 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 and I'm like, oh, that's the thing you need to do. <laughs> so, actually, that's what I'm doing right now. Still talking to understand really what's the problem and how I can resolve it. So I believe, yeah, I gotta be so fucking sold on my offer and so confident about it, like n that no one dares to fuck with me when I'm talking about this. Being like, okay. I said it. Now what? You want to say something? So convinced. So sold. I'm not like that for now. And I think that's the thing that's limiting me. Because it's like, if you want to try to like go forward with a car that has four tires flat, you won't go really fast, you know? 
And you're like, why the hell am I not going fast? Because I didn't fix your freaking tires. That's exactly how I am going. I'm going so slow because I'm not able to stay sold. And that's, I mean, that's the foundation of all of it. That's the reason why. And I'm really glad I'm realizing it right now. Because, I mean, if I didn't realize it, I think I can try to do my shit, do my things, but I won't get the results I want ever. And I will always be dissatisfied and always be like anxious about what I did ever. For a simple reason, because when you don't, when you're not sold on your offer, when you're not sold on your product, when you're not sold on your thing, you can't sell it really. You cannot be like all in. You can try to follow the things, the tactics, the scripts, the way to sell it. Communicate well. You can do that. But you can't sell it. You can't be at 100%. That's impossible. So you need to be sold on your offer. You need to be so fucking sold. Nobody dares fuck with you. And whatever comes at you, even if you don't know the answer, you know you will be able to find it out because you know this is the way. This is how you're going to do it. And this is your truth. And it's working. So you need to have that in mind. You need to have this in mind, guys, because if you don't, being sold on yourself, on your company, on your services, and on your products is the key, the key to being able to make millions. And I didn't realize how much it was. I tend to neglect the basics often. Because I'm like, yeah, whatever, this is basic, be sold. Yeah, it's cool. I got it. And I'm doing that mistake too much. Be like, okay, that's okay. I understood, man. I know it. I know it all. I'm the guy. I know it. I, I mean, no, nobody that, that's my age that's doing this in my situation is doing that thing. So, yeah. Anyway, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not. No, it's not okay. You gotta keep putting in the work. You gotta keep going forward. You gotta make a sort that what you do is mastered. You gotta repeat, repeat, repeat every day, making it a sort that it goes inside your head and it never goes out. That you are sold, so fucking sold on what you do that no one dares to fuck with you. That's the message I got for you. So yeah, didn't reach my goal for the 30 days. So I'm not really that broke because I got a few payments here and there. Close a few deals like here and there. But it's not it's not 2k. It's actually closer to eh, around like 800 to 1k. Well, right now I still have uh, 400, 400 that came from, from a client that I had already. I've got... Maybe 500 I still need to really uh, define. We are, we are great on doing some work together, but we need to like do the work and sign the contract shit, you know? But anyway, maybe got a 500, a 500 in my pocket really soon. But it's not enough. It's not enough and I want to keep going with another one. My birthday is in one month, actually less than a month in like yeah, January 6th, the day undercover billionaire actually gets out. JC, my man, you choose the right day of the year. <laughs> anyway, what I mean by that is that I want to go to 10k a month by my birthday. Because I feel like each day I'm learning, each day I know which, which mistakes I need to do and I don't need to do. Which thing I need to do and I don't need to do. So anyway, I think... At some point, I'm gonna crush it, but I gotta keep fucking eat, eating the wall, like eating the dirt and the shit and whatever you want. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And I understood, like, one of the greatest lessons I've learned from those 30 days was like, yeah, being broke is actually like, you gotta be. You gotta take some risks. And that's the way to take some risks. I was like so afraid about that idea, and I'm like, man, you've been pretty much broke, or at least trying to sustain for a few months already. 
I did that. It was much extreme right now because I had all the things that was <laughs> it was already complicated before that I had, but I had it pretty much double what I actually do, the amount of money I pay. But it's still the same shit. Still the same thing, still the same process. But I gotta go from sustaining, from <gasps> being in the world and be like <laughs> And, and to be like, okay, I'm, I'm on a freaking boat right now. I'm on a freaking, like, yacht. <laughs> that's the difference I want to make. So, yeah, that's the summary of those 30 days. Apply quickly. Consistency. Go at it. I don't remember, actually, what the, what the other one was. But you need... You need to be sold on your product. That's it for that live. I'm going to post that on Facebook and YouTube so you guys know. Have an awesome day and keep yourself, even if you fail at targets, go set another one that's even bigger. Because when trying to reach that target, you actually made some improvements that you can use in order to reach another one and another one. The key is to not give up. If you don't give up, you are guaranteed to succeed. Have a nice day.